we're now able to uh, loosen some of the uh, restrictions regarding outdoor uh, gatherings. Our province's top doctor announces a slight loosening of restrictions to hold Manitobans over as our cases decrease. It comes on the same day that the province announces four additional deaths, one of those a teenager. Yet another tragedy in Manitoba. Uh, this this pandemic has cost cost us so much. The male teenager and a male in his 50s died in Winnipeg, while two Manitobans transferred to Ontario ICUs. A male in his 70s and a female in her 60s have also died. While cases are dropping, ICU and hospital capacity remains high. Dr. Rusin still making some small changes. Our new public health orders will take effect Saturday, June 12 at 12:01 a.m and will include those provisions for outdoor gatherings with up to five people in public and on private property. Not including your household members, you can now have five people from a max of two households over as long as you stay outside. There is no limit to the amount of households that can gather in public as long as the group size is a max five. Rusin says this isn't signaling an opening. It's relief that he trusts Manitobans won't take for granted. They haven't been able to really uh, get together with anyone outside of their household. So we've um, uh, allowed just this, uh, this sort of release valve. Manitoba's healthcare facilities continue to face extreme pressure throughout this third wave. Meanwhile, as of Wednesday morning, 151 Manitobans are in ICU. 30 of those are out of province. 97 of those are COVID patients, 25 more people than our total pre-pandemic ICU beds. In other news, the province hits a milestone in the race to herd immunity. 70% of people over the age of 18 have received at least one dose of the vaccine. And the percentage of people aged 12 and up is not far behind. Anyone who got their first dose before May 4th is now eligible to book their second dose. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.